that the key to the reward of the purification of Jannah, the key to have that reward of Jannah, the most pure place that we could possibly end up in, is to purify ourselves in this life, to purify our hearts in this world, whether through the facet of relationships or purifying our hearts from pride or arrogance. And we ask Allah to purify our hearts. What's interesting about this is that there is a story we know, an authentic report found in Musnad Ahmad that most of us have heard many times. And to summarize and paraphrase, Anas radiallahu anhu reports that as they were sitting with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to summarize and paraphrase, the Prophet informed them sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about a man of paradise who would enter the masjid. An old man enters, they don't recognize this man very well, the other companions. And on day two, the Prophet ﷺ says the same thing and this man walks through. On day three, the same thing happens and finally one of the companions, a young companion, Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As radiallahu anhuma, he wants to find out what is this man doing for him to be considered a man of paradise. So he goes to the man, he comes up with a reason for the man to invite him over for three days and three nights. And as he remains, he's watching carefully, observing what is this guy doing for the Prophet ﷺ to describe him as a man of Jannah. So that we can copy him, so that we can do what he's doing. He says, I've observed him day and night, did not see anything special. I observed him, he did not pray Qiyamul Layl all night. There was nothing extraordinary about this man, visibly speaking. And as he's leaving on the third day, he finally admits to the man why he was there. He informs him about what the Prophet ﷺ said. And the man initially has no clue, no idea why he would be considered a man of Jannah. Look at his humility. And then he says, but there is one thing. And in one of the reports of Imam Muslim, there is one thing, what is it? He says before he sleeps, he would empty his heart of any vices, ill grudges, envy, and thoughts, specifically in one of the reports, hasad, towards the believers. And he would not cheat the believers. He was honest with others. The key to the reward of the purification of paradise is to purify our hearts in this life while our hearts are still beating, not waiting for calamity to strike, not waiting for someone to die for us to say, I wish, I wish we had made up before they passed away. A very common sentiment at many janazas, many funerals. Don't wait until it's too late. As long as your heart is beating, take every opportunity to mend between you and others.